Hello, my name is Ron Z. These are my impressions of TP-Link's Archer C2300, a dual-band Wi-Fi AC2300 router capable of simultaneous 1,625 megabits per second at 5 gigahertz plus 600 megabits per second at 2.4 gigahertz. This router offers all the features and performance an average household would typically need. If you like bargains, the C2300 is cost-effective and value-packed with high-end, modern, useful features. It's powered by a 1.8 GHz dual-core Broadcom CPU with two coprocessors and incorporates performance-enhancing features like 3x3 MU-MIMO, range boost and beamforming, NitroCam, Smart Connect, airtime fairness, a built-in VPN server, link aggregation, and USB media sharing. It's a good economical balance between outstanding performance and moderate cost. The C2300 beats the competition and is the best router offered at its price point. Unless your needs are rather extreme, it's a router you should seriously consider. Pricier routers may present specs which look better on paper, but they will actually perform similarly to the C2300 in a home environment. During my testing, the C2300 was able to stream multiple high-definition videos, while more than 20 other Wi-Fi devices were simultaneously connected and active. This is an unboxing, review, tear down disassembly, and setup tutorial of a free demo unit received from TP-Link for testing and feedback as part of their review program. My presentation gives you the flavor of the C2300, illustrates what it does, and demonstrates how it's set up. The C2300 is a compact router. Dimensions are six and a half by eight and a half by 1.4 inches. Weight is about one and a half pounds. The case is an attractive, stylish blend of smooth and textured black plastic. A slim silver band wraps around the front and sides. Seven LED icon indicators are on the top surface. Power, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, Internet, Ethernet, WPS, and USB. Just below the LEDs is a silver bar to toggle the LEDs on and off. The three removable adjustable antennas are flat and six and a half inches long. Instead of positioning all three antennas to stand up vertically for optimal Wi-Fi coverage, I tilt the two end antennas slightly outward at 30 degree angles. On a side panel are buttons for Wi-Fi on and off, reset, and WPS. There are also USB 2 and USB 3 ports. The back panel has a power jack and on-off button, a blue gigabit WAN port, four yellow gigabit LAN ports, and three coax antenna connectors. The C2300 retail box is attractive and extremely informative. An 802.11ac Wave 2 sticker is affixed to the front of the box. Printed on the box are best for simultaneous 4K streaming and gaming and a list of key features. Descriptive diagrams, illustrations, and explanations appear on the back of the box. Side panels contain additional details. Easy setup and use, features, specs, package contents, and a picture of the router's layout. Inside the outer box is a well packed sturdy white carton sectioned off to keep the contents safe during transit. 
The retail package contains the C2300, three detachable antennas, a 12-volt 3.3-amp power adapter, four-foot white Ethernet RJ45 Cat5e patch cable, large folded one-page double-sided quick installation guide, Wi-Fi info card, and a small GNU license notice booklet. The C2300 is a dual-band router compatible with the newest next-gen 802.11ac Wi-Fi gear on the 5 GHz band, as well as 802.11a, b, g, and n 2.4 GHz legacy devices. All of my networking components connected easily without any issue. This router is capable of processing three simultaneous data streams over three antennas. This is called 802.11ac 3x3 MU-MIMO, multi-user, multiple input, multiple output. Wi-Fi speed is faster because data is concurrently sent in three streams over different paths and then recombined. Latency decreases, speed increases, increases 300%. Range boost and beamforming increase the reach of weak Wi-Fi signals, expand coverage, improve reliability, and help eliminate dead zones. TP-Link's NitroCam, Broadcom's 1024 cam, quadrature amplitude modulation, increases the Wi-Fi data rate and speed by an additional 25%. Smart Connect automatically selects the best Wi-Fi band for each device. Airtime Fairness ensures that legacy devices won't slow down your Wi-Fi network. The C2300 even includes a built-in VPN server, which can provide you with secure internet access when you use a public Wi-Fi hotspot. You'll be able to securely browse the web or access your home network over an encrypted connection. This is for free without a paid VPN subscription. Link aggregation of two LAN ports can double Ethernet speed to 2 gigabits per second. This is for super fast network attached storage, NAS, streaming, and backups. I use the two USB ports to share media, photos, videos, and music, and backup files on my home network. For example, with flash drives plugged in, I can play photo slideshows and stream 4K videos to all my laptops, desktops, tablets, smartphones, and Roku TVs. The two USB ports are also handy for making backups and sharing office files. Does your current router provide all these features? Probably not. The quick installation guide illustrates how to connect hardware, configure the cloud router via the Tether app or a web browser, describes USB applications, TP-Link cloud service, and includes need help tips. A detailed comprehensive 120-page user guide can be downloaded as a PDF file from TP-Link's website. The C2300 router uses Broadcom chips. There is a 1.8 GHz dual-core 64-bit CPU, a dedicated coprocessor for each Wi-Fi band, 512 megabytes of RAM, and 128 megabytes of flash memory. A C2300 router can be set up, configured, and fine-tuned from either a web browser or TP-Link's free Tether app. Tether is available from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Tether requires Android 4.3 and up iOS 8 or later. With Tether and a TP-Link cloud account, your C2300 router can be set up, configured, and controlled remotely remotely from anywhere in the world. 
Initially, I performed my setup using the Edge browser on a Windows 10 ThinkPad laptop. I set the browser address bar to tplinkwifi.net or 192.168.0.1. If any Edge browser connection issues arise, they can be fixed by going to Settings, Clear Browsing Data. There are tabs in the top row for Quick Setup, Basic, and Advanced. After going through a five-minute Quick Setup, the Basic menu displays a network map. There are lots of possible features to add and adjust on the basic and advanced menus. Just to mention a few. Operation mode. Switch mode between router and access point. Network. Address reservation and DHCP client list. Guest network. USB sharing. Parental controls. Alternatively, setup and fine-tuning can be accomplished using the Tether app. I ran Tether on an Android tablet. The initial screen for the C2300 router indicates that 23 devices were connected. Clicking the yellow setting circle icon on the lower right displays a screen with icons for quick setup, wireless, share password, internet connection, TP-Link cloud, guest network, LED, block clients, parental control system. Both the web browser and Tether user interfaces are intuitive and simple to use. Just view my included video since detailed tutorials would be too lengthy to include. The C2300 is versatile. Aside from being a router, it can also be configured as an access point connected to an existing router or Fios gateway. I was delighted with the speed tests because they reported results that were 15% higher than the service I actually subscribed to. At 5 GHz, 802 11 AC, C2300 Wi Fi speed tests indicated 231 megabits per second download, 23 megabits per second upload. I pay Spectrum for 200 megabits per second down, 20 megabits per second up. This measurement was on a Windows 10 ThinkPad laptop, one room away from the router. During this benchmark, 23 Active devices were connected to the C2300, also consuming bandwidth. Even in my large old brick home, which has wire lath plaster walls, C2300 Wi-Fi is usable in every room. The C2300 eliminated Wi-Fi dead zones. The C2300 router comes with a two-year warranty plus free lifetime 24 by 7 technical support. I telephoned several times with questions. During regular business hours, phone calls got answered by technicians in California. Other times, by knowledgeable and helpful English-speaking engineers in China. TP-Link user forums are also a terrific source for having questions answered. TP-Link is the world's number one provider of consumer Wi-Fi networking devices. Other routers that I've tested and highly recommend are TP-Link's Archer, C3150, and C5400. These high-quality products are more expensive than the C2300. I hope you found my presentation enjoyable and helpful. Channel subscribers will receive notifications as new reviews are posted for other TP-Link products. Goodbye and good luck.